dear doctors and students welcome to our channel i am dr mansoor ali professor government homeopathy medical college calicut kerala of south india today we will discuss something interesting about the united states of america how to establish a homeopathy practice in us the legal status the rules and regulations the registering authority examination previous question papers the syllabus the documents required about the insurance about the placement and some other useful resources and i am sure this video will be definitely a supportive document for all those who wish to practice homeopathy in united states of america scope of homeopathy practice in united states of america these are the 50 states in usa 50 states in usa as a graduate or a pg holder in homeopathy you can take the certification from the chc that's the council for homeopathic certification and which is a rigorous examination if you have good knowledge in homeopathy you can practice safely in the united states of america so as a graduate or a pg holder in homeopathy from us or in any from any other country like india you can practice safely in the in the united states of america once you pass the exam and with a valid visa in the us you can start your practice which is unlicensed you have to practice under the code of ethics led by the chc chc certification is a validation of expertise and standards equate homeopathy with other certified healthcare professionals so that is a valid certification council for homeopathic certification and the exam time the chc certification exam is offered twice yearly that is on monday and friday in april and october registration is open for 7 weeks prior to the examination exam cost include dollar of 35 application fee and 500 dollars as exam fee and 325 dollars for the retake of examination and the chc exam resources that is available in their website that support the applicants during the examination phase of the certification process so a student friendly or a doctor friendly organization or authority that is chc and the eligibility requirements chc exam applicant must be pro efficient in oral and written english qualification 500 foundation or classroom hours and 500 clinical training hours in classical homeopathy completed through the program accredited by the achena assuring educational excellence within the disciplines of classical homeopathy and that is for the us nationals or from uh, graduates or post graduates from us 500 foundation or the foundational or the classroom hours and 500 clinical training hours and the and uh, no, the program completed through a program accredited by the achena the certification process consists of four parts first one that is a theoretical exam then practical ex exam that is a case analysis third case submission and the fourth that is a oral interview these are the four process in the certification theoretical exam practical exam that is a case analysis then you have to submit few cases case submission and followed by oral interview and what about the outside us and canada candidates all applicants trained outside the us or canada must meet all the chc exam eligibility requirements at a minimum the classical homeopathy curriculum must include 500 hours of study in the foundation of homeopathy historical and theoretical aspects of classical homeopathy materia medica repertory health science homeopathy case taking initial homeopathy case analysis posology follow up follow up and case management plus 500 hours hours of supervised clinical training completed at a homeopathy school so 500 hours of study clinical study and 
5 followed by 500 hours of supervised clinical training completed at a homeopathic medical college. That's the criteria for the outside US and Canada candidates. In India, according to the Central Council of Homeopathy, our BHMS syllabus, that is 4,500 hours of clinical and theoretical training followed by one year internship. So all Indian homeopaths will definitely get, uh, get the eligibility to write for the CHC examination. 4,500 hours of uh, for clinical and uh, theoretical training. That's uh, four and a half years of BHMS followed by one year internship. So the Indian homeopaths, the BHMS holders will definitely get the CHC, they will clear the CHC exam eligibility criteria. And renewal and study materials. Each year the certificate holder rectify for homeopathy practice in the coming year by completing 15 continuing medical education program CEUs, completing attestations and paying $170 by November 30th of every year. So the websites of, website of the CHC www.homeopathicdirectory.com and the CHC exam resources that is homeopathicdirectory.com exam resources you will get the previous question papers the syllabus the study materials and some books to read online so a student friendly or a doctor friendly authority that is the CHC visit the exam resource, resources section of the CHC now the limitations in the United States of America. Homeopathy is not covered by insurance unless prescribed by a medical doctor with homeopathy medical homeopathy qualifications. So all medical doctors with additional homeopathy medical homeopathy qualifications are eligible to get insurance. But maybe in near future that could be possibility to get covered by other homeopaths also. CHC certification is a certification and not a license and is valid in all the states of US and Canada. CHC certification is valid for all the states of US and Canada. Every year you have to, you have certain number of CEUs to complete for good standing of the certification otherwise they will revoke your certification and you have to retake the exam again. So continuing medical education program that is also compulsory. We cannot use the designation or the prefix doctor as we are not considered as medical doctors. But if you have a qualification in modern medicine, you can with an additional qualification in homeopathy, you can use the designation doctor or the prefix doctor, otherwise can't. But don't worry, even the medical doctor, doctors don't use the designation doctor with their names. They, their, their, their degree, the degree is mentioned after their name and they address their speciality. For example, their name is XYZ. Then the designation XYZ MD Nephrology. And remember, no need to register in local bodies in different states of USA. In India, we have to register in each state to practice. But no need to register in local bodies or in each state if you want to practice across the United States of America. And the legal status. It is completely legal, legal for medical doctors, MBBS, to practice homeopathy anywhere in the US. Completely legal for medical doctors to practice homeopathy anywhere in the US if they have an additional homeopathy qualification. At present, three states have homeopathic medical boards which license medical doctor, doctors to specialize in homeopathy. Homeopathic medicines are included in the food Drug and Cosmetic Act of 1938 and therefore fall within the regulatory authority of FD, FDA which recognizes the homeopathic pharmacopoeia of the United States, HPUS, as their official compendium. Approximately 98% of the homeopathic medicines are classified as non-prescription drugs in the United States of America. And the various certifying bodies for homeopathic practitioners in the United States. American Board of Homeopathic Therapeutics, Homeopathic Academy of Naturopathic Physicians and the Council of Homeopathic Certification that is the CHC and double check with the state laws before you begin to practice there. So these are all three main certifying, uh, certific certifying bodies in the United States of America but the CHC that stands with the highest rank. 
and some useful resources. North American Society of Homeopaths. Their website is homeopathy.org. And the National Center of Homeopathy, homeopathycenter.org. Then other websites like the homeopathyusa.org, homeopathic.com. These are some useful websites to know more about the scope of homeopathy practice in US. And if you would like to prepare for the CHC examinations, these two websites, they will give you some additional study materials, question papers and uh, books also. Outsourcing, homeopathybootcamp.com and chcprep.com. And the website of ACHENA, ACHENA.org. So these are some useful, authentic uh, resources to know more about the United States homeopathy practice in the United States of America and the examination patterns. And please visit our website homeobook.com. That means everything on homeopathy. And our Facebook page with the largest number of subscribers, homeopathyhomeobook.com. And the WhatsApp, our WhatsApp number is plus 919249337799. And our email id is similima at yahoo.com and please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this if you would like to practice in canada or australia or in any other european countries or in the countries like the oman qatar or the united arab emirates bahrain etc please visit our our youtube channel youtube.com slash dr mansurali you will get the entire procedures now dear doctors I think you got an overall idea about how to establish a homeopathic practice in the United States of America. The legal status, the rules and regulations, the availability of the medicines, insurance coverage, the limitations, the registering authority, the documents required and the examination process. Everything in brief. So that's all for the time being. Take care. Thank you.